Patrick Reed for GoMarquette.com. The sun's coming out a little bit. It's starting to get a little warmer here in Milwaukee, and that means lacrosse season is heating up for Marquette. Another Big East game on the road this weekend, but then back at home on Tuesday against Bellarmine. That's a 5 o'clock start at Hart Park. And I'm joined today by Kyle Whitlow, who had a highlight real goal a couple of weeks ago against Duke. If you haven't seen it, here it is right now. It was a behind-the-head shot. Kyle it was a fancy goal. What were you thinking at the time? Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of thought to it. Um, that's kind of a move I've been doing for many years uh, since growing up playing in the backyard. It's just kind of, you know, I caught the ball and just it seemed like the best shot to take, and that's you know that's what I did. So. Well, it looks fancy to all of us at home and those of us who are watching on ESPN3. You said you thought about that move. You've, you've had that move for a while. How often do you work on something like that or think about those one-on-one -on -one situations? Um, you know, it's... Like I said, it's, it's something I've been doing for a long time since uh, just a kid, um, watching you know professionals do it. Um, in practice, it's a great time to you know to practice it. So um, it, it's you know it's great when you're you're in close to the net and uh, you don't really have time to switch to your offhand and you kind of just the goalie's not expecting it and it's it's just a great shot to have. So. Now you said there's not a lot of time to react. There's not a lot of time when you're in that situation. What's one of the first things you're trying to do when you get into a one-on-one -on -one set? Uh, most of the time, I'm just trying to uh, beat my guy to the goal, or you know, draw to uh, draw the second man coming to me. So, um, you know, you, you try to get your uh, first step on him, and um, if you're if you're past him, you know, then usually something else is going to happen, where either you're going to have a good chance to shoot, or or the other D guy is going to slide to you, and um, you know, that time I got to shoot. Sometimes, you know, it's it's a pass that makes the best play. So. What'd your teammates say to you after that play? Uh, I got a couple of high fives. You know, they're making fun of me, saying it was a bad shot and whatnot. But it's, it was all jokes, so it was a good time. And Kyle Marquette back at home on Tuesday against Bellarmine, a team that you all beat on the road last year. But you're coming home, playing at Hart Park again. Those home opportunities have been so rare for this Marquette program. What does it mean to get back at home and back in a place where you're a little bit familiar with? Uh, second game of the season uh, after our loss to Villanova. It's going to be, you know, we would like to get a win for the hometown crowd here. Um, it was a hard-fought game last year, like you said. Um, it was a tight, very tight game, so we're gonna have to, I think we're going to have to do the same thing this year and can't take these guys lightly. All right, well, Kyle Whitlow, thanks so much. Marquette Lacrosse home on Tuesday night against Bellarmine at 5 o'clock at Hart Park. We'll see you out there.